Hello everyone, in this video we will solve a 700 level CR question which we shared in the group today and this the good thing about this question is it can be uh, solved using the comparison based framework for pre-thinking. Now those of you who are not aware about comparison based framework we have a different video on it but I will quickly take you through what the comparison based framework means. Generally in some of CR questions you will have multiple scenarios where the author is comparing the advantage of one scenario with the uh, basically telling that one scenario is more advantageous over another. Now when we talk about advantage, we need to ensure that we understand that advantage is always benefit minus effort. Okay, so in most of the CR questions which are based on comparisons, the, uh, the author will hide information, some information about the advantage or the benefit or the effort. So whenever you have a comparison based framework, you think about these three parameters always. Okay, so with that, let's solve this question. Now, let's read this first. Let's understand the question step. Companies that dominate a industry, an industry usually do so by developing a competitive advantage, often control of a unique resource or superior technology that allows them to manufacture products at a lower cost compared to their competitors can. So what we know is we are talking about some dominating companies in this case okay some companies which are dominating in nature and these companies do have competitive advantages and how do they gain competitive advantages they basically do so by reducing their cost so their costs are probably very low or lowest possible okay over their competitors let's see further non-dominant companies that seek to increase the market share we are talking about another set of companies which are non-dominant companies. We know that these companies who seek to increase their market share generally must endure drastically lower profit margins. So these companies should have drastically lower profit margins. Why? As they win customers away from the dominant companies by matching their prices. So we know now that we are talking about another set of companies which is non-dominating companies. Okay, let me write it down over here. Non-dominating companies. And these companies should endure, those who, these companies who want to win market share should endure lower margin. So we know that there is something about margin and there is something about price. And obviously margin is nothing but price minus cost. So we know that these companies who want to gain market share will have low margins. Okay, this is something which is told to us. So let me write it in black ink. They have low margins. And obviously, if they have low margins, it means the dominating companies will have slightly higher margins. Okay. Uh, they have low margins because they match the prices of the dominating companies. So, if the price of dominating companies, the price that the dominating companies are keeping is X1, then the price that these people have is X1 also. They match the prices of this. And obviously, their cost is slightly higher compared to the dominating companies. So, that is why their margins are low. But if you focus on this part that matching their prices, what it means is that not all dominating companies do this. There are companies who are basically trying to win the share of the market. They are trying to increase the share of the market. So this is basically some specific companies that we are talking about. Okay, These specific companies reduce their price. They basically match their price. What does that mean? That basically means we have some non-dominating companies who are like when they were working normally like under normal scenarios their prices will probably be x2 okay the cost will still be the same higher but their margins will be slightly more okay because the price that they generally have is x2 obviously x2 is supposed to be greater than x1 so that is the information that is provided so what is happening over here is some of the non-dominating companies who want to gain market share they basically try and reduce their prices to basically gain market share because of which they have an impact on their margin. So this is the understanding of the whole argument. Now let's, uh, let us look at the last part of it. So companies that increase their market share in this way. So we are talking about which companies? We are talking about these set of companies. Okay. So the companies who increase the market share in which way? What, what is this way? The way is to basically decrease the prices, match the prices and do not change their disadvantage in production costs. So we also know that we are talking about these companies plus we are also we also know that there is no change in cost. So we know that these companies are not going to change their cost at all. Okay. So companies that uh, do not change their disadvantage in production costs relative to those of the dominant companies will therefore 
market. So this is the conclusion. Eventually lose their recently won market share as prices return to normal level. So what is being said here? So as the prices return to normal level for these companies, they will lose their market share. So what is the author trying to communicate here? The author is concluding that the prices, as the prices go from X1 to X2 again, the companies will lose their market share. Okay, let's read the question. Which of the following is an assumption upon which the conclusion of the argument depends? So we have to identify the assumption. Okay, now we need to first understand what are we really comparing here. Are we, we, are, we see three scenarios. This is scenario one, this is scenario two, and this is scenario three. So what are we really comparing here? We are actually comparing scenario two and scenario three. We are saying companies who have actually reduced their uh, prices and uh, they have got a market share which is in scenario 2 will need to move to scenario 3 okay we are saying that in the conclusion will need to move to the scenario 3 and as they move to the scenario 3 they will lose their market share now we have to think about assumptions now let's let's talk about it so well when we think about assumptions we have to think about all these three factors okay so it is very clearly stated in the conclusion that there is no change in cost. So cost is out of picture. We don't need to worry about it because it is clearly stated that the cost is not going to change. Now what leaves, uh, what, what is left then? Uh, margin and price. So what is the author trying to say here? The author is saying that the companies will need to increase their prices and then they will lose the market share. Now why do they need to increase their prices? That is a question that we need to ask ourselves what is the reason the only thing which is left is margin right there's no nothing else in the equation so they will probably need to increase their prices only if the the margin that they are getting right now is very low it's so low that it is not even sustainable so if the margin is not sustainable if the margin is not sustainable then the companies will need to increase their prices. Imagine it this way. Even if the margin between the dominating companies and non-dominating companies is different. Let's say the, the first case, the margin is whatever, $1,000 per unit. In this case, the margin is, let's say, only $100 per unit. But if this, this margin is positive and it is sustainable for the company, why will the company need to increase the price? The company will not need to increase the price unless the margin is not sustainable for the company. Okay, so that is the assumption which the author is making here that since the company is not doing anything to reduce their cost, if the, mar the margin is not sustainable, that is why they will need to increase the price and as they increase the price, their market share will go down. So this is our assumption that the margin is not sustainable. Now, if you rethink the assumptions really well, you will see that choice E is the correct answer. You can read this and you will understand. Let's do this. Few companies lacking competitive advantages in cost of production that have increased their market share. So we are talking about these companies only. Few companies lacking competitive advantage in cost of production is nothing but non-dominating companies. And then we say that have increased their market share. So we are talking about this specific non-dominant companies. Okay. Will sustain price market lower than those of the firms with production cost advantages so if you see this is exactly what is our assumption so it clearly says that these for these companies the uh, margin is not sustainable okay and that is why choice e is the correct answer okay so if you pre-think it is very easy for you to mark the correct answer all you have to do is think of the scenario in comparison based framework all you have to do is think about these three elements price costs and margins if you think about these three elements, you will always come up with the right answer. Okay. Now let's understand why are the other choices incorrect. So we'll go in the opposite order. Okay. So let's talk about choice D. Um, and and uh, again, uh, we don't need to go in the opposite order. It's just that uh, I, I started from E. So that's why I'm going that, that way. So acquiring unique resources or developing superior technologies is a difficult undertaking that requires substantial investment on the part of a company seeking to gain a competitive advantage in production costs. Now, this was the most popular choice which was uh, shared by most of the people in the group. But understand this. What is this choice really telling me? It just tells us that how companies gain advan competitive advantages. Okay, it tells us that acquiring competitive advantage or acquiring unique resources or technology is a difficult thing. 
okay and it requires a lot of uh, resources substantial investment basically but that has nothing to do with the conclusion here it just is a, it's a general statement about the dominating companies okay how they gain the profit like the the market share like how they gain the competitive advantages and it has nothing to do with scenario 2 and scenario 3 it is completely about scenario 1 itself and that is why this choice is out of scope Co we, it is not specific to the non dominating companies it's a very general statement and it is not specific to the conclusion let's look at choice c non dominant companies can improve their competitive positions by developing unique resources or technological innovations similar to those of dominated companies now this is also a popular choice so some students believe that this is the assumption that the author is making also but if you focus on this case what it, it is telling us is non dominating companies can improve their competitive positions by developing unique resources and technological innovations so this choice focuses on lowering the costs but if you focus on the conclusion, it is very clearly mentioned that there is no change in cost happening. We are not talking about all dominating companies. If you focus again, companies that increase the market share in this way, which is non-dominating companies for this specific case, and do not change their disadvantage in production costs. So if you focus, the author has very clearly limited his scope of discussion to companies who are not changing their costs. Whereas choice C talks about companies changing their costs so choice c is also incorrect on that front it is not this is not in the scope this is also not in the scope let us now talk about choice b let's read this dominant companies generally can cannot maintain their competitive advantage over long period of time unless they acquire additional unique resources or develop improved technology so it talks about the dominating companies it basically talks about dominating companies reducing their cost even further but now if you focus the conclusion is not related to cost the prop the dominating companies reducing their costs becomes a problem only when we're talking about non-dominating companies working on their costs okay which is not the case we are clearly mentioned we have clearly mentioned that these non-dominating companies who are not working on their costs will also face a problem that is a conclusion about okay so choice b is also incorrect now let's look at choice A. Now this is another choice which a lot of students believe uh, is the correct answer. Let's read it. A dominating company with a competitive advantage generally will not lower its price to undercut those of a firm that lacks competitive advantage in production costs. Now if you focus on this choice, this also talks about dominating companies and it talks about dominating companies reducing their prices further. Okay. But, and this is, let me tell you, this is a very, uh, very easy trap to that gmat has set for you because a lot of people think that what happens if uh, the dominating companies reduce their price that is on, also going to create a problem but think about it this way whether the dominating companies reduce their price or they do not reduce their price the conclusion is talking about the current price being non-sustainable okay so if they reduce their price the problem is going to be bigger but right now even if they don't reduce their price the current problem will still stay as is okay the non-dominating companies are not able will not be able to sustain their margins this is what the author has been imagining if this is the scenario then obviously even if the prices are not reduced or even if they are reduced the non-dominating companies will have to move to x3 x2 so whether it is x1 or something smaller than x1 which is x3 it doesn't really matter because the non-dominating companies even then will have to go to X2 to maintain their, uh, uh, like to, to have a higher profit margin. So it all depends on whether the margin that they are getting right now, this non-dominating companies are getting right now is sustainable or not. And that is why the correct answer in this case, I'm repeating again, is choice E. Okay, so this was an official question. I changed the answer choices a little. I swapped the answer choices a little. So if you focus on the comparison based framework and if you focus on the conclusion. So here it is very, very important for you to focus on this aspect that there is no change in cost that we are talking about. And then we are talking about this particular specific uh, companies and comparing them with the normal scenario. If you focus on all these aspects, you will always get this question right. Otherwise, you will falter in such questions. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much.